Hi guys and welcome to another Dilly theme e-commerce site build. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. This is where we left off last time. We just put together this little parallax section with a countdown timer. Here's our module we created with custom price tags and colors. So in this video, I'm going to save and reuse this module and just create a new section. So let's edit the page. And go down to that module. Which is this top one here. And click on the little three hamburger lines there. I'm going to save it. I'm going to add it to my library. I'm just going to call it shop. Don't want to make it global because if you make it global, that means any change you make will affect all the other ones. We'll do a global module when we do the footer. Saved it and added it. Now, if we go back to the site, Uh, let's enable our visual builder. So we've now saved this module as a default. Let's get rid of the rest of these. Sitting that little trash can icon. There we go. And let's just clone this module one more time. In fact, let's use our new save module. It won't make any difference. And add from a library. And there's our little shop module right there. As you can see, it's added it in a new section here. I actually want to move that up to this section right here it's in our blue section and let's give it a few different categories sale products yeah because it's exactly the same there so let's make this something different Put shirts there, just for argument's sake. There we go. Well, you've got some similarities, but that's okay. So we'll save that. Now let's add a new little section below. I'm going to make this a regular section again. This time I'm going to have it, I think, two thirds on the right hand side and in there I'm going to have a shop module for a change and I'm going to add our regular one but I'm going to make it a different sort of side in fact I added it to the wrong section there I want it on this side and let's make the count to, that's actually about what I'm looking for. Make it slightly smaller. Let's give it three rows here. Product count six. And let's give it. Product categories, we'll give it a couple product bags and belts. It's fine. I'm going to make it three columns so they're slightly smaller pictures. Okay. 
There we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an image in the background here to make this just a little more interesting now on our main section here. Select background, select image. Add a background image. Let's drag the image over that I want here. And again, I'm not going to put alt tags in, but you should really, if you're building this site to go live, put some keywords in there or something pertaining to the picture. There we go. Save that. All right, let's give these sections a little title here. So over here. So let's add another little row. Now let's add a text module. I'm just going to use it for a title. And for the content, I want to write accessories. And I want to make that a title. So I'm going to select it and select heading two. So that's now a title. There we are down there. And heading text, H2. I want to use that Volcorn which is what we've used before. Regular font, I want it to be italic. I want it to be center aligned. And I want it to be that blue color. And I want it to be large. I think 41 was what we were using before. I'm just going to save that. Let's move this up to the top here. Yeah, right. There we go. So we've got a title going on there. And let's save this to our library. We'll do this in the Visual Builder this time. I'm just going to call it a title. There we go. And if we go up to the top of here, right, we'll have to do it at the bottom and drag it up, I imagine. Let's add from library. There's our title right there. Of course, you won't be able to see a thing because this is blue. Let's move it up to the top. Now let's adjust that text to a white color. Make sure we select the right one, H2. Make it white. There we go. And we'll change that to on sale. And top sale items. There we go. And just save that there. And we'll save that to our library as well as title white. That way we can just reuse it as we need. So there you have it. There's how to add a quick 
new section using our saved shop modules and how to save and reuse modules for, for later use. So let's exit the Visual Builder and save. And we're good to go. And our little site is starting to take shape here. What I'll do in the next section is just add a few dividers just to make this look a little more interesting here. But uh, what we've got going on so far is not too bad. We've got our titles in, we've got our save shop modules to reuse. So I hope you found that useful. If you have, please subscribe to our channel and share our videos and like them. If you're interested in web design, please take one of our web design courses below. We've got some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. There's also some great free courses down there. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 on webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.